Hi, I'm Casey Conway, CCIM Institute's Chief Economist. Today I want to talk to you about something that's going on in the logistics industry, consolidation. And so we're seeing consolidation occur in response to the strains on our supply chain, trying to figure out how to get more efficiency, better route structures. And a good current example of this is the rail merger between Kansas City Southern and Canadian National Rail. So why this is important is this will, for the first time, truly create an all North American Class 1 railroad that goes from the deep interior of Canada seamlessly all the way into the deepest southern force in Mexico. And why this consolidation is important in this rail case is that it's going to impact site selection, where factories go, where e-commerce logistics goes. And we're seeing, we've been seeing for a while, this trend shift more to the middle part of the country and closer, more closely aligned with the rail and the rail connectivity to the ports. We're going to see this consolidation go beyond the rail set. We're going to see it go into trucking as the capital requirements for upgrading trucks, both in their fueling uh, strategies, whether it's LNG gas or electric or more autonomous. This creates more of a capital need on trucking. And since over 75% of our trucking companies today are smaller companies with 10 or fewer trucks, the way you're going to deal with this capital need is to consolidate. We're also seeing it in the form of REITs right now. So we're seeing industrial REIT consolidation occur as more capital wants to find its way into industrial real estate and industrial warehouses. So if you can't find the assets for sale, go buy the REIT instead. Current example of this underway is the current Monmouth MRE IC REIT uh, merging with Sam Zell's EQC REIT. So lots of things going on in consolidation. It's not just rail. Um, it's not just uh, going to be limited there, but it's occurring in the REITs industry. It's occurring in the transportation and trucking categories. And what this really means for commercial real estate professionals is we've got to be dialed into how this potentially affects things like site selection. Where does the e-commerce logistics warehouses go? And where do these efficiencies get realized in a line and, and how they align with this uh, infrastructure consolidation. So where can you get all the answers and the best insights on this? CCIM Institute has a new insights paper out uh, titled Last Mile Logistics. Please check it out. We explain the consolidation along with a host of other logistics and last mile issues at ccim.com forward slash insights. Thank you.